Hi, this is Mr. West, Rossett's most stylish, and today I'm at the front of Rossett's school and I'm about to head into the new reception and talk to some of the students about the three hours culture of learning at Rossett. Launched in July 2012, we're about 18 months into the uh, culture of learning program now, and we've got a three hours week coming up, so it seems like quite an apt opportunity to go and see what the students and the deputy head have got to say about the three hours. So I'm now joined by Dan and Ben in year 10. Dan, how do you think the, the three hours culture of learning has helped you? Um, we really think that the three hours culture of learning is sort of making us more all-round individuals in and out of lessons and it's about applying what we learn in the lessons to further outside of lessons, different lessons and out of school. You've got an example of that, Ben? Um, like if you get injured in sport outside of school, um, you need to be resilient to get back and like Rossett Resilience has helped me with that. Yeah, good. I've also got Rob alongside. Uh, what are you saying, Rob? Um, the three hour weeks really help us to practice the specific skills we need in each of the three hours. Yes, yeah, so you've got a whole week then. In the past, you've had a whole week of one of the hours. Yep. Okay, good. Yeah, it does sound good. Yeah, so I'm now joined by three students in year 10 uh, Laura and Ellie and uh, Katie. Uh, Laura, w what's it take to be a responsible student, do you think? Um, I think um, you have to like take control of your own learning. So that could be in school or out of school. So like doing homework on time and revising, and, or just like catching up on some work that you've missed. What do you think, Ellie? Um, being able to not make excuses because there are some factors that we can't control, but being able to just pass, pass through them makes you a responsible student. So some things you can't deal with, but there are a lot of things you can. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now you've got a nice line for us, Katie. What's that? Um, today you should do what others won't, so tomorrow you can do what others can't. Okay. Do you think that like responsible is a little bit like a competition as well? Would you say? It's more of a competition with yourself to right. see if you can improve. Yeah. No. Some really good ideas there from Year Ten. Okay. So I've now got Josh alongside from Year Eight. What does it take to be a resilient student, Josh? Uh, I think it takes like uh, hard work and dedication and uh, getting up from your mistakes, like in maths. Uh, it's really helped me improve because uh, if I get a question wrong, I'll just keep trying it, and it, it really helps. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, and not afraid to sort of get something wrong and then, but then bounce back. Yeah, uh, yeah, basically, yeah. Okay, good. We can see resilience helping Josh in maths. So here we are in the reflective meeting room where I'm joined by three year nines who are reflecting on what it means to be reflective. Um, Rachel, what do you think? <laughs> uh, like reflect on the teacher's constructive criticism, so your work can like be the best it can be with their advice. Okay, and what about you, Jess? Um, you shouldn't just use reflectiveness in school. You can also use it in day to day life. Is there any way where it's been able to help you? Um, well, if you're say if you had a falling out with a friend, then you can reflect on the argument and then um, make sure you make up with them. Yeah. Is that common in year nine? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, that's good to see, that's good to see. I mean, if you've got a reflective student, Caleb, I mean, what kind of qualities are they displaying? Uh, someone that can look through uh, their work and set good targets. What do you mean by a good target? Uh, something that will help you in your lessons that you've got wrong in the past. Right. So quite specific then. Yeah, yeah. Is there any subjects where it's helped you particularly? Uh, maths, because I, didn't, I wasn't very good at algebra. And now you're doing all right. Yeah, OK. So, yeah, three students with a lot of good advice on being reflective. So we've uh, now popped out side reception. I'm joined by uh, three Year 11s, uh, two of you which here, Olivia and Sam. Olivia, uh, how has the three hours changed Rossett? The three hours have improved Rossett by giving, making the students more hardworking and giving them a better work, work ethic. Okay, have you got any examples of that, Sam? Yeah, so, like, as she was saying with the work ethic, it really helps you during lessons, so you can reflect back on past choices, and it really helps you achieve the goal that you want to achieve. Okay, it makes it a bit easy to see where you need to go. Yeah, 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 yeah it does. Okay. I've also got Lydia alongside. Uh, Lydia, what's been the impact for you? Um, I think that when I move on to higher education and eventually work, it's going to be able to help me to progress and develop as an individual and in my work, because I'll be able to reflect and learn and constantly try. Mm, yeah. And you've had a few years of the three hours. So. Uh, yeah, and I think it has made a good difference. Okay, so year 11 seem to be impressed. Okay, I'm now joined by Alice in uh, year 12. We've got a, a three hours week coming up, Alice. What are you looking forward to about it? Uh, I'm looking forward to developing my, like, my resilience, my responsibility, my reflectiveness, because I think that it'll help me now and also in later life with like jobs and stuff to be able to do more stuff for myself. Okay, that is good. What have you enjoyed about the previous weeks we've had? Just being able to develop it, really, and like to get like a good grounding on it, and yeah, to okay. become better at it. Okay. Well, I'm now going to move over to join six form legend James. Now, James, you've been christened by me and many others as uh, Rossett's number one three-hour poser. Uh, are you proud of that title? Um, yeah, I'll take it. 
Nice one. So what, what, what are we doing here then? Which of the three hours have we got at the moment? Um, I'd say this is a combination of reflective and responsibility. Why is that? Uh, well, as you can see, I'm looking quite pensive. I'm looking over into the distance, and my body language is quite relaxed. So I think it reflects everything. Yeah, nice one. What about resilience? Have we got a different pose for that one? Uh, resilience would be like this. Right, okay. Just come a bit nearer so you can really get this. Yeah. Strong stature, prepared for everything. Take a few knocks. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so what do I need to just... Just get my back, like, yeah, nice, nice and straight, chest up. Wide, yeah. yeah, and I can be resilient in the future. Well, you can see he's definitely worthy of his crown. OK, I'm now joined by uh, Rossett Deputy Head, Mr McIntosh. Uh, you've been hearing what the students have had to say, sir. Where do you think the schools come in terms of the three hours culture of learning? Um, I think we've come quite a long way, Mr West, to be honest. Um, obviously, three hours was brought in to try and give our students more independent skills which can serve them well, both in school and um, outside of school in later life too as well and I think what's good is that you hear students using the words and I also think what's good is you get external visitors coming into school and first of all being hit by this fantastic reception where the words here are displayed and also when they go into lessons they actually come and say to me and, and Mrs Hunter do you have some sort of culture thing going on here and of course we answer yeah we've got our three R's so it's obviously evident to people coming in from the outside which is fantastic. Yeah. Where do you think this is going to go then over the coming year or two? I think the most important thing, and I've said this to staff on lots of occasions, is that uh, lots of things change with schools, you know, how people are examined, governments change, everything. But I think what's important is our core culture stays and goes all the way through so that year group upon year group, they have this as part of their approach, if you like, to school life as they progress through school. And ultimately, for me, it's about students leaving schools with great qualifications but also leaving school as well-rounded individuals, having some great qualities within them. Yeah, well, that certainly looks positive, and a number of students have said that as well. So it certainly looks like we're going the right direction.